Welcome, everybody, to the Onward VR Master League. My name's Nightfire with two E's. I'm joined by Tendies for an exciting ba matchup today, a mid-tier matchup. Chronic and the Misfits. Tendies, how are we feeling? How are you looking? Uh, what are we, what, uh, how are you feeling? I feel absolutely spectacular. I think this is going to be one of a deadly matchup for just being a mid-tier matchup. Both teams, they've worked very hard to achieve their ranking and their placings on the leaderboard. I think it's going to come down to the haywire with this one. Oof. Well, it should be exciting. Um, you know, I haven't had time to dive much into the team history of both squads, but uh, I know they are we're still relatively fresh into the league. Chronic coming in in Season 13. Misfits coming in in Season 13. Uh, you know, names that, frankly, I'm not very familiar with. And so it's always fun to be able to jump into a series and, and see some fresh faces into the space. And uh, I'm very excited to see what level of competition we're going to get today. You know, that's kind of always the question when I'm jumping into a, a, a new teams or a silver bronze match. Uh, because oftentimes these teams are climbing the ladder. They're in the process. You know, they're going from bronze right. to silver to gold. And so it's kind of exciting to see uh, new teams come up. So maybe we'll get to kind of get a glimpse at one of those new teams coming up today. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I guess we can get into it. We have almost a full lobby here this afternoon as teams uh, start to populate uh, our first map of the day. But let's talk quickly about... Big bands for the afternoon. Coming in from Chronic, we have Abandoned Snow Peak, and coming in from the Mist Pits, we have Arctic and Bazaar. Worth mentioning here, of course, that we do have the new map in rotation. So uh, that new map, Egress, is in the map pool. It could be selected, it could be chosen, could be banned. It's available. So maybe we'll see Egress uh, uh, debuted in the VRML here today, which would be great. I'd love to see the new map. Uh, map one is Shipyard, and Pendies, what are the thoughts on the bands here this afternoon uh, coming in from both I, these teams? I think from both sides here, this is going to be a bands of weakness for them. Specifically for Chronic here, Chronic hasn't had the best of luck here on their picks which are on their maps here which were abandoned and snow peak to remind you on abandoned they got only a 38 percent round win percentage and they've only played it once uh but for snow peak however i think there is a little bit still iffy with it uh they don't entirely they're not entirely confident with it they, they do have a 67 percent round win for it but they've only won the map once on the flip side, I think for Misfits, it is a pure map uh, or a pure ban of of weakness here with having both Bazaar, which they've only played twice, but they only have a 25% round win percentage on. And then Arctic, the flip side here, they've played it three times, but they've only won five rounds out of those three matches, making them have a 38% round win percentage here. Interesting. So shipyard, then you know, I'm curious to see what Chronic are going to be delivering here. We haven't had a shipyard map in a while. I feel like in the uh, in the regular league play, it's kind of exciting that we do get uh, to see some some shipyard action here this afternoon. I think it's one of the benefits of diving into uh, some of these newer teams is that they bring out some some variety into the space. You know, uh, a lot of teams have been panning shipyard and. I'm kind of curious on your thoughts on the map overall, Tendies. Do you prefer the map? Or you, uh, do, do you like the open range and close quarters? I mean, ultimately, it is a pretty CQB map. I think this is an all-around... It's going to be a bit of bit of both a bit of both here you know it's it's got its long range elements you know if you go up onto the rooftops or if you play on different lanes here you're looking at some long range to mid range engagements here but you know the further you go in you draw into CQC here interestingly enough it looks like we are hopping into round 1 chronic down for the 5 so i'm curious to see if they're going to be able to fill in that fifth slot here or if Chronic are going to have to go in at a disadvantage for the entirety of the series. Oftentimes that fifth does come in and uh, hopefully they'll be able to either get a sub or at the very least 
to have that fifth connect in for the rest of these rounds, but they're starting round one, four, five. They have the option after this to call a timeout if they do choose so, uh, in which case they can then uh, spend another 10 or 15 minutes trying to get a sub. But our first objective of the day is on the ship, and misfits are nicely stacked around the OB today. They've got a solid spread up. We'll turn the lasers on. You can clearly see the angles, and oh, how quickly the 4v4 advantage is squandered. <laughs> on the rooftops here as Big Mac finds Lace Susi and not before Lace catches one of their own. A pretty quick utility piece coming in here from Chronic as Big Mac Tree Man finds themselves really the point defender here in all of this. They should be able to catch Bob pushing out of the out of that bottom floor and Select Pie and Mr. Five are up here ready to dive in off of this push, but 440 on the clock. They have so much time and select the spot. Big Mac, Mac taking some shots out. That should identify their position. You can see Bob looking for the angle up here uh, onto the middle and ooh, on a room. love digital. Nearly finding some shots. Son of Chad, snipe select by down with the SV98 and Mr. Right. Five pushing in. Is this matchup here, Tendi, is a very odd start to things. Indeed. It seems like they kind of want to go for a long, or they want to play a long range, but at the same time, they're split down the middle and trying to play short range here. I think it's a possible get up to try to trick their enemy here to thinking that they're going to play long when they're really short up and they're right in their face. Yeah. Five, so close to being able to push in to this objective and now they're the only attacker left as Big Mac Tree Man finds Bob on the backside of the ship. Misfits quickly cleaning up Chronic here and this should be, well it could be, a short map if the uh, Chronic don't collect themselves here. Definitely having five would be nice to balance things out but for now Mr. Five is all they have. They don't have five. Fun of chat here on the corner. Doesn't spot out. Mr. Five takes shots, gives away the position, has to rotate to the out angle, which is. And there's so much defense here, so many different angles. So Chad is pushing, and that catches them a bullet to the face. Just trying to assess the situation around them and to wait out for any more pushes. Why wouldn't you? You've got plenty of time, and if you can get another pick onto the Misfits defense, it'll slowly open it up. Oh, and they had to have seen Tree there on that second floor. This outer edge push will put them in combat with the outer corner, and they do take a shot. A quick heal onto the leg. Max pushing in and a trade up through the middle. Nearly the same thing. Five almost started to uh, chip away at that Misfits defense, but it is 1-0, and Misfits take their defensive round right away. Not really a surprise, and now look at that. We do have all five in the lobby, so maybe we'll see a uh, bit of a different Chronic team here, but, well, a solid defensive start, I would say, for Misfits. Absolutely here. Misfits pulling off a showstopper already in the first round here, dropping it down to just a 2v4 situation here against their, uh, sorry, a 2v1 situation here. Unfortunately, Mr. Five trying to move on to the objective doesn't end up finding that and ends up getting picked off there at the end. Yeah, it was a decent attempt from Mr. Five. He really did clutch up that round for Chronic, and that certainly would have been a nice start for them on their map pick, but they now go on the defensive, and we swap sides, and again, we have now a full lobby. So, when we look at the active rosters for both teams, on Chronic, we have Select 5, Bob the Gamer, Mr. 5, Lace Sushi, and Dino Spamoni. 
all on the roster, so no subs dipping in and not dipping into that active reservist pool. And then on Misfits, he has Son of Chad, Mo uh, Moki Ma uh, Masters, I believe. They were uh, used to be named, but now they're trying to throw me off. Uh, Big Mac Tree Man, Robbie, and Love Digital, uh, all consisting in making up the Misfits squad. Uh, I definitely recognize a few names there, and so I'm sure I've caught a Misfits game too, if not this season, last season as well. And, uh,. Well, they definitely looked good. They looked confident, at least. And why wouldn't you be in a 5v4? But they now go on the attack, and again, we'll get to see what Sonic can do. As we have all five on their team and ready to go on defense. Absolutely. And if you heard at the start there, Chronix, Select Pi, he was calling for some call outs here. I think they're going to try to do something a little bit aggressive here. And it looks like Chronix taking a more aggressive defense on the ship here with select pie being up on the containers mr five and lace lucy being down right next to each other here but if you see bob the vr gamer he's gonna take a shot at big map he's gonna pick up big map right inside of center house that's gonna drop it to a 5v4 already here leaving moaki moakster and love digital on the ship while son of chad and robbie are trying to flank around here Hey, someone's in uh, border, left side, border, left side. Into a small shack, into a small shack. Quite connect, and Chronic do start off with a nice five or advance, catching out that rooftop push. It's five, totally five, a good five. start. Milwaukee and Love are starting to make their way up to the short uh, ship side, and Loki catches a couple of bullets. Love Digital still here. They're going to re-peek and look for their refrag. A select pie of re-peaks. They could find themselves catching a couple of bullets. Definitely a risky angle to take. And they're going to try and get some utility out. The flash does not connect. Love ducks back in time and retakes the angle. They're going to challenge select pie. And select wins the exchange on the corner. A big double kill to clean up the short offense from Misfits. And Chronic are looking good on defense. Son of Chad and Robbie are all that's left. Bob the Gamer here, he's actually heard at least one of them has called him out here. Bob, he's going to take the shots on the set of Chad. He's going to pick that off, making this Robbie all alone. 5v1 here. Robbie now pushing inside of uh, East uh, Warehouse here, running out the backyard. Bob the Gamer calling him out. Everybody on Chronic knows that he's there. All of Chronic starting to rotate around, holding their angles towards Robbie here. Yeah, you can see in the distance, Lace taking up a rooftop position. They're going to try and catch Robbie out. If if Chronic have an accurate kill count, which they should, Bob has called in two and Select has called in two, then you should know that Robbie is the last one alive in this corner. And Robbie has a lot of time left, 3.30. Uh, but still, they are very much identified. Select Pie is trying to catch an angle down into this back side of the, uh, the back corner building. Pretty tough to get an angle from the defensive end down into this back corner, so Robbie is somewhat safe. Chronix have a disconnect come through, and so they're down to four. A team kill cuts it down to three. Robbie is chipping away at Misfits without having to do a thing. Absolutely. Slug Pie, Mr. Five, though, still being on the objective here, each holding different angles here. They could spot Robbie at any given moment here, and that's going to wipe out their possible hope here. Mr. Five still playing on Bird's Nest here. He's still trying to look around, possibly thinking that Robbie's still back there. Bob the Gamer still holding down on the steps here. Robbie silently moving through the chronic defense here. Robbie still slowly moving through. 220 on the clock. Should be able to make it past Bob. I think. Yeah, Bob isn't really rotating to cover the ultimate entry into that small uh, hole in the wall there where Robbie is going to be making their push. But what needs to happen is Bob needs to push up about another 5, 10 feet and cover this right side. If they push too far. Robbie has an angle. Now their back is to Bob. Bob still hasn't quite pushed up. It's all a matter of onward timing where they'll find Robbie completely. 
absolutely exposed and found him. Chronic with a nice solid defensive round answer back. And we're tied one apiece here on Shipyard. Quite a uh, interesting battle. The disconnect ultimately doesn't end up impacting them, but hopefully they can get their fifth back in because I mean, look at the KDs. 3-2, 1-2, everyone finding a kill on Chronic that round. You know, I, I always like to look at the KDs as kind of a reading into uh, what we can expect out of a series. You know, it really does tell a tale in a lot of ways, even if a team isn't necessarily winning rounds. Uh, you know, Big Mac in particular with three of the kills, the, the lion's share, if you will, uh, for Misfits is interesting. We'll see if the rest of the Misfits come alive on their defensive round coming up. Absolutely. Chronic picking up their fifth member, O-Dog Hunter here. Now that makes each side back to five fives here. And as you were saying before, that was a very interesting defense from Chronic there. Even with that disconnect, that still put them at a slight disadvantage with it. But even at that, they still managed to rally back through that, making the scores that 1-1 one, one even. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice... Patient hold, which isn't what you see very often at a silver tier. You know, you see a lot of uh, over aggression uh, in the lower ranks, you know, because players are on the hunt. You, you still have that kind of early drive of murder, of team deathmatch almost. You know, you haven't quite gotten into like the meta of league play, which is very different. You know, when you're talking smokes, utility coordinated plays by five people you, it's just it's a different experience and so it'll be interesting to see oh, I think have a bit of a false start uh, if Chronic can get everyone in but that is a sub you know was their fifth and now O-Dog has come in uh, so they are all bringing in a sub here on Chronic's side uh, ideally do solve a connection issue but I also do wonder if it's something tactical you know I always do say it's good to have those extra subs in the roster in case one player is not playing well, you can swap someone else in. I'm assuming it's technical uh, because you know, you know, if they won the round, why would you swap someone out after winning a round and doing well? Either way though, uh, that's the benefit of the sub. Uh, that's why you have a full roster. You know, we see teams in moments like this where they have a disconnect and they can't get someone reliably, reliably in and they're just at a disadvantage. So uh, that's something I love to see in a newer team. Uh, especially like Chronic or even Misfits, they both have full rosters they can tap into here uh, for subs and, and, and anything they need to give themselves the best chance of winning. Absolutely here. I think this is going to be more of a tactical... Um, yeah. I think that's going to be more of a tactical sub out. Uh, O-Dog here, he seemingly has more map knowledge towards sub er, towards Shipyard here. He could rally back for Chronic and make this a 4-1 lead for them. Yeah, that would be definitely a uh, interesting sub. Maybe to the point they brought in Dino just to fill that fifth spot. And now they've had O-Dog who's made it home from work or something, you know. Uh, finish the dishes so they can jump online you know whatever it is uh that was delaying them but yeah we'll have to see if that does impact the chronic ability to coordinate oftentimes you have that one team leader uh, you know you, i think of a team um that uh Pinsky plays on they they're often the sort of leader in the comms you know Absolutely. Big Mac under the ramp here. He's heard all of the commotion going down on the steps and he's given the call out. So you got utility coming out from Select Pi. O-Dog still creeping around this corner. Love Digital's going to pick off Select Pi. He's going to get the wound. Looking for the finish, possibly. Doesn't appear to get that off. O-Dog running back for it. O-Dog might get it in time. Love isn't um, going to get that full confirm. O-Dog is back up. That's a pretty big res. An interesting angle from Love. I really like that little slice they were taking, but O-Dog swings out to catch. Big Mac on the bottom. Moak goes down in the back corner. Chronic have five alive to the Misfits. Three, make it four. As Robbie does scoop one up in the deep corner. That's going to give away their position. It shouldn't be uh, alive much longer. Select five flashes over the top. They're going to swing the corner. Find Robbie dead. Two left for Misfits as they try and hold down on this defensive OBJ. This definitely looks like a bit more coordinated Chronic. 
Interesting choice of weaponry here. Son of Chad here has an SV-98 holding close range with it, and especially on a 2v4 defense here. Digital giving the callouts here. Son of Chad backing off, but he's gonna get picked off by O Dog, leaving Love Digital the last remaining member from Misfits here. He's looking for the peak up on Bob. He can't seem to get it. Bob fell off the fell off the building, <laughs> wounding himself. <laughs> that gives Big Mac was like down technically, uh, <clears throat> the last person to do damage to them. But Bob is just down, and this looks like Chronic is pushing in for a cap attempt. The objective just below Love Digital. Mr. Five is here. Love has to defend from the rooftop. Mr. Five doesn't see Love until they snap up and catch him. And just All like right. that, Chronic right. take a Marsock oh, round. Maybe O-Dog was the element they needed, Tendies, because that definitely looked cleaner. Maybe they just needed to get warmed up after the round rit win. I'm not sure what the solution was here, but Chronic looked a lot... Uh, Oh, maybe they've warmed, they've woken up a little bit. I think they shuck off those few cobwebs here, off those two rounds here, allowing them now to start rallying back here. And winning that Marsock round here is going to be huge for them because this now offsets the uh, the possibility of Misfits just trading the Volk rounds here and possibly winning the, the first map here. Uh, it's going to be an interesting time here for Misfits. They have to try to rally back here, possibly go for this cap here to take yeah. the lead back on map one here and possibly even take map one as a whole for the series here yeah we will definitely gonna be a test misfits trying to think back to their last offensive push uh you know ship the ship deck was very different pushing into the, in the, uh, the back side of the west now you know in that, in that back of the deck of the building but yeah, it's it's capable for sure. But I feel like it takes definitely a failing in the defense to to, to allow the offense anywhere near the objective building. You know, if the if the offense is pushing in, at that point you're in trouble. <laughs> you know, that's when things get bad. If you've let anyone even get inside this building, it is bad news. And so pretty much every defense sets up to deny entry into this entire outside building. So that's why you see people pushing up like into the corner like Robbie or using SV9. I'm not sure on the SV98 call. Maybe a bit of a, a comfort pick or overconfidence. Uh, you know, who knows? But uh, either way, Chronic are up to one now and we'll see if Misfits kind of change their pace because Chronic definitely changed theirs. Absolutely. You see a very interesting defense coming out here from Chronic. You have all of the four in the back. You have Mr. Five pushing up here into the center building. Son of Chad possibly going to hear him. Yeah, I'm pushing upstairs. Mr. Five could definitely catch a couple out if they're not ready for a aggressive defense. Son of Chad, like you said, should have heard Mr. Five. The callout seemed... I heard a callout. Moki checked the roof for a second, but this patience... Oh, uh, this could be a deceptive kind of let the offense push past you and then pull the trigger uh, and attacking them sort of uh, way here as they pop up. Down goes Moki. There's the first. Big Mac possibly popping up on the stairs looking for a refrag here. Mr. Five looking, checking over. He doesn't see anything. He doesn't see Big Mac on the corner, but Big Mac's going to shoot him through the vents. He's going to pick him off. Lace Lucy's going to pick off Love Digital here. Robbie, now the last one on the defense here, or on the uh, offensive to the left. Son of Chad slowly sneaking through the underground tunnels here, possibly looking to sneak around here. Yeah, they're working I think they're going to. Select Pies watching the flank, and so it's going to be a matter of coordinating. Robbie getting around this wall, which is not going to be easy. Laced has the feet cover, but they do make it past as Laced. A bit of a misstep on their movements there, and Robbie peeks underneath the car to catch the kill. A nice move by Robbie to get control of the corner. Son of Chad nice can now start to pop up and be a threat. Bob's there to defend and shuts that down right away. Robbie's still a threat nice on the outer underneath. corner, 42, but Chronic now 32. have cold misfits to just, just two. It's Big Mac way far away. We're gonna have a fight on the corner. Robbie shuts that down. Chronic down to just two as select by. 
should try and get around on that res on the lace, but it's all a matter of if Robbie allows it. Robbie could rotate back for the confirm, take a push into the backside and attack. C4 gets detonated just a touch early, and O Dog and Select are the only two left alive. Select is going to get Sushi up, but Robbie's on the back here, and if they can sync it things up. Oh no! Big Mac fall damage to their death. It's Robbie alone in a 1v3. Robbie's memorizing the code here, it's whispering it to himself. Select by looking at the doorway here, ready for that rear defense here. Slowly making a move here. Robbie made a lot of noise coming up here. Lace coming right around. Slowly going in at Lace checking the underground. Lace about to run here. Oh, he's not gonna make it. Select Pie is gonna see Robbie and pick him off here. Making the scores now three to one. Big Mac, definitely uh, not the only one to fall to their deaths, but man, we're seeing quite a few uh, falls to their deaths over here on these stairs. Uh, it's a little too slippery. I'm not sure what the uh, what the what the. I think they put a little is. too much butter on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But either way, Chronic are up three one on their map pick. Uh, frankly, my mind is. My, my, you know, my prediction scale has gone all over the place. This, the first round, I thought Chronic was basically done with the whole series because they were just going in 4-5. Uh, you know, they didn't have uh, a very good offensive push in that 4-5 opportunity. And since then, they've been a very coordinated team. They looked, they looked pretty good. Their defense was nicely set up there. They got the res they were covering. The appropriate angles they got early picks uh, i like the aggressive setup from mr five on the roof uh to set up for uh you know those early exchanges but uh yeah i also didn't know you could shoot through those vents <laughs> whether that whether that i didn't know you could do that <laughs> so i'm learning stuff uh here after six years of playing the game but uh yeah chronic are up three one Everyone is finding kills on the team. Robbie's come alive at least for the Misfits, but they still have Moki and Love. And haven't found any kills yet. That definitely does impact morale, momentum, a lot of things when you when you start to calculate in what that means at a you know emotional and team level. So things could change pretty quickly if those two players can come alive in this next round for the Misfits. We're going on defense for our new objective on the opposite side of the map. Absolutely, I think this is an interesting pick still. Son of Chad still bringing an SV-98, but instead, I think he's rocking the iron sights with it. I think he's trying to play CQC with them. Yeah, he he's the last round. Uh, it's just interesting choice in gun. It's got to be a comfort pick. You know, it's just something that they like using. They like the one-shot connecting and being uh, that's all they need, but... Sushi kicks things off for Chronic. Misfits down one early. Very aggressive push on defense to try and get up. Set up early and a very aggressive swing from Lay Sushi. Minus one. As Love Digital finds one. I believe Big Mac sneaking his way Minus up onto middle. the middle here, trying to look and to see if he can see anybody. But he's not able to see Love Digital slip there. O Dog's taking shots under here. Love Digital trying to take shots over at. Uh, uh, Big Mac, but he's not able to connect with any of his shots here, having to reload. He peeks up, he's gonna get Bob the Gamer as well as Mokster is gonna get picked off by, or uh, Mokster is gonna pick off Select by, excuse me. Making this now a 2v4 situation here for Misfits. Yeah, O-Dog should be able to swing up, get the res onto Bob. Moki's pushing up a little too aggressively. Mr. Five's gonna pop out and have a nice easy kill on the ship. So Misfits now down to three, just like that. The res comes in from O Dog, Bob, and O Dog able to drop back, get yeah. off of those stairs safely onto the ship. So they can rejoin Mr. Five, and well, this three-player push could definitely start to come together. Misfits still have the comms of Big Mac. But it is just the three of them. They're not going to get that res on the Big Mac. Plenty of time. Absolutely. I don't think they're going to be able to pick that off there. Now with Robbie inside Blue Room watching the cross here on the ship here. He looks like he's not going to be able to see anything at this moment here. Mr. Five swinging back towards the end of the ship. Is he going to get that finish on Big Mac? Comes there. Love has a angle. 
Oh, he gets scooped up South Blue, by Odog. A nice it. shot there, and I have to see how Son of Chad and Love Digital hold down things for Misfits. The final two defenders. The subjective gets a little dicey when the offense can get close enough to challenge the defense with utility. As we see left. smoke starting to come in. Actually, That's right, going to be a uh, start of this push, and Love shuts that down right away. Mr. Five goes down. Odog swinging oh, dog, very yeah. wide. Fiddlesticks, where are you? Oh, dog sees Love. Oh, as he is going to shoot, Love ducks down. That's going to give him the call out here. Bob's going to get a revive on Mr. Five here. This brings us back to a three on two situation. Oh, dog keeping Love Digital pinned down here. Even I'm suppressed, but you can't. Yeah, tag this me. works. Oh, dog oh. just needs to keep Love focused oh, yeah, and tunneled on yeah. them. Son of Chad is the only other defender alive, and they are holding down Bob and Mr. Five. That flash comes out. Ooh, and Love trades on the roof with O Dog, so it's a 1v2. Son of Chad, I believe, has the idea that Five and Bob are here, but frankly, with two of them, Son of Chad has no chance. He can't rack that, that, that single shot chamber fast enough to fend off to. So as long as Bob and Five here work together, Son of Chad. Is not going to be able to successfully defend this with this weapon. But hey, we'll see. The SV98 with irons is what holds Misfits apart from losing map one. Absolutely here. Mr. Five and Bob still taking their sweet time here because they don't know that O Dog and Love Digital traded here. They weren't able to get that call out for either side here. Bob, da, Bob and Mr. Five I'm trying to sit here and talk game strategy here, figuring out how they're going to go in for this possible possible cap here. Thing to see in here, the strategizing in VR, but Smoke does come out. Not going to necessarily deny vision on Son of Chad. They don't necessarily seem to be aware of the fact that Chad is very much tucked in here into the deep corner. Bob swings the short one. They're going to win this trade. The snipe shot comes in and misses. Bob connects. If it was only a full auto gun, that uh, could have been a little bit different. But uh, hey, what do we know at the caster desk? It's only six years of watching the game. Anyway, a nice attempt. And Chronic take away a 4-1 victory. Yeah, you learn. You learn from your losses, right? Uh, and so uh, maybe that'll be a lesson learned uh, that the SV-98 isn't the one all beat. The, I mean, hey, they got a kill at the start of the, in the first round with it, okay? They got two kills, I think, actually. So, I mean, what do I, again, what do I know? I'm just a cat. But uh, Absolutely. that's yard. You know, where do we think we go from here, uh, attendees, for map two and uh, the rest of the series? They are I think at it with Subway, but I think that's what Misfits want to take with. I think that is going to be our second map pick here. Possible map of strength here. You know, they want to take it to CQC. They want to show off. They can play tight and they can play these corners well. I think it's going to come down to uh, final wires almost here. So long as a SV98 has been in play. some time there again relatively new teams into the league is only coming in season 13 and uh they played plenty of games this season granted but yeah <laughs> impressions of overall skill level tendies i mean i would say it's definitely silver level you know their coordination isn't quite what you'd expect out of a gold team you know that that when you get to gold and diamond, I think that's really when you see strategy coming in, you know? And, and maybe we'll see that on Subway with Misfits picking the map 
Um, but, you know, I, I, I like to see those time strategies, uh, and you really only see those once you get, I think, up into the gold tier. I mean, I, I'd be surprised if we saw some of those in the silver. Absolutely. I think this feels more or less like a pub lobby and, and the sort of skill sets here with silver, you know, an interesting choice bringing the SB98 with irons, then to top that off with having a very wonky defense here from both sides, to be fair. Both sides had some pretty weird defenses planned out, or maybe they just didn't plan it out. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, is, it's, it is shipyard too, you know, and, and we don't, that map doesn't get played a whole lot. But maybe we'll see a little change in pace here on Subway, I guess if we can expect anything, because Subway is a map that's been around for forever. You know, and there's some pretty solid meta defenses here that you can tap into. It looks like there's a possible rehost going on here. Very good. Very good. They know what's up. Uh, part of, I think, you know, like I said, it's funny thing is part of the rule set. You're supposed to rehost the lobby uh, and the round. And so it's all, it's all a matter of if they wait for us to get into the lobby before they start that round. That is question as we do a bit of a technical start in the background but map two subway if this goes misfits way then we go to a map three pick for chronic downfall maybe or quarantine i guess i feel like if we're going to compare any map to shipyard quarantine is probably the closest you could get Absolutely. I mean, it's it comes kind of comes back down to some parts of it are long range and some parts are CQC. It really just depends on where you go, what objective you got, and how your team strategizes for these plants here. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Definitely a big shift in pace from shipyard to subway because if anything, we saw more of those long range battles, the rooftop fights going on on shipyard so it'd be good should be interesting to be what we get but it does look like it is still going to be subway at the very least we didn't get uh faded out on that um, on that one but yeah hopping in now and are we seeing are we going to see any subs that's the question because you know we saw o dog jump in definitely seemed to make an impact for chronic uh do we see subs i'm already seeing uh, no, not yet, but we don't have everyone in. But I wonder if we're going to see uh, Dino make a return here on Subway, if we'll see any uh, entries in for the bits. But either way, we are just filling up. And, yeah, no subs for Chronic. We're going to stick with their five. Bob the Gamer, Lay Sushi, Select Pi, Mr. Five, and O-Dog. And uh, Misfits waiting on two more there, but for now it's Moki, son of Chad, Robbie, Big Mac has jumped in, and once we have their fifth, we're diving into round one on Subway. Do appreciate Oops. everyone that has been uh, stopping in, if you are just dropping by, we uh, appreciate you hanging out here this afternoon, you've tuned in to some middle of the ladder onward here and some silver tier battling uh, between misfits and chronic if you're new to the league and this is a great time uh, to join we're 10 weeks into the season but you can create a team sign up for it uh, and start playing in the league right now if you want to so uh, always open for new players we have multiple divisions you get down into the bronze it's new players or new teams being created and so uh, you're, 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 the intention being that you're matched with people of equal skill level. And, I mean, I frankly think we're seeing that here this afternoon with Chronic and Misfits. They seem to be a pretty good match for each other. I think Subway will definitely be an interesting tell, uh, interesting series. But, you know, even though the, ser the, the, the score line 4-1, if we look back at Misfits' KDs, they all, did, they all were finding kills. You know, some 5-3, 4-2, you know, like it's, uh, finding those kills is an indicator that you're at, at the very least you know, in the fights, winning some of these trades. And so um, there's opportunity at the least if those trades were to go the other way where maybe Misfits could take a map win. But it's all just a matter of waiting and seeing as Love Digital 
populates the Misfit squad to make them a total five, and we should getting into round one here at go. <laughs> and they should be firing up round one now. First objective, tendies. What a doozy. <laughs> We're starting in the this north. This objective has one objective, all right. Quite the objective. You've seen teams have the best of battles, and there have been teams that have had the worst of battles on that objective. I just got kicked out, so I can't it up. I did too. So I've never had that bug happen. I imagine they all got kicked out because the lobby doesn't exist anymore. It's like a bit of technical difficulty. Yeah, exactly. There, uh, it's a new one for me. <laughs> Bobby crashed. So, each team lobby should be up here shortly. Get the lobby, you get each team back in, we'll get the action right underway. Four and a half years plus. almost. Yeah. The longest streak I have for sure. But uh, yeah, quite a <laughs> solid series. You can barely hear me. Well, turn me up, Silver. That's all you gotta do. Um, anyway, do bear with us as we sort out the tech difficulties here. It looks like our lobby's up. Should be back into it, and hopefully, we don't have any more crashing. So they already got on the chronic side. They've already populated with their five. They're still running the same roster here as before. Still just waiting for one over on Misfits here to populate the lobby, and we'll be able to get the action. Oh, and it looks like right as I'm saying that, he joins right in here. Each team possibly thinking of a re-strategy here. The objective has changed here now. It is now underground in the basement here. Yeah. One of the more easier objectives to defend here. Uh, but, you know, we've seen it many, many times where each team has tried to defend here and they end up getting uh, getting capped on or they end up all pushing out off the objective and they all get picked off one by one as each team is trying or as each player is trying to make their way onto the objective here and get set for their assault. Go ahead and give the players the ready up so they're not waiting on us. And I am getting notification that I am quiet, which is fine. Uh, like I said, just turn the volume up on stream, it'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, everyone's in now and Getting in, do it. Just waiting for Chronic to ready up. They obviously have to prepare for a new objective, so you know we can give them a few minutes now to uh, set up their defense, because ultimately they were positioned uh, to defend for that North OBJ, which is you know a wild objective, a vastly different <laughs> objective in comparison to the basement, which is where they're headed to now. So yeah, it's. Uh, worth i guess just re recollecting yourself as a defensive team and getting ready for it but misfits too you know curious to see how they want to attack this obj and it's a matter of time again we appreciate you all patiently waiting uh with us here in this technical reset again i've never had a lobby crash like that on round start hopefully it doesn't happen again and we can just get into map two to figure out if misfits are going to start to come back. If they're going to start to climb themselves back up through the 
through the series because 4-1 is a tough loss that can definitely uh, impact you negatively and ultimately as a team it's all up to you know how do you roll with momentum are you able to reset and refocus on a new map especially considering it's their map pick we'll get these questions answered now as round one is starting successfully no crash misfits on the attack Absolutely, and this is already a very interesting defense here from Chronic here. They have Bob, who's the lone man off of OBJ, but he's tucked inside of one of the tunnels here. I think he's given some radio tap call outs, signaling to his team that they're coming in from the north stairs here. Whereas you have Select Pi proned under the ramp here, and in a relatively uncommon angle. Uh, holding all the way down towards the tunnel outside of Red Room exit. Laced Sushi has pushed all the way up inside of the maintenance here. Tucked himself in a to uh, sub into a corner here. Here's Moki. Identi if you're going to move us, make sure you're binding. Double kill coming in from Bob as Big Mac on the corner is going to swing out and catch the kill. A quick refreck. This fits just like that down to three. One. Is at least cleared on the upper floor, but it's now Moki and Big trying to push down into objective. Already, Big Mac's throwing in smokes down the stairwell. This would indicate, in most cases, that a push is coming in, but I think it's just Big Mac using up utility that they're getting off of their downed enemy. I don't think there's much of a push coming in, so it's just, if anything, throwing off Chronic because we see Select Pie using a flash. Uh, and so at least getting some utility out of it for that fake smoke play. Misfits still with 420 left. Haven't quite made the entry down yet. They wouldn't want to because Robbie is nowhere near this basement. He needs to get uh, quite a good distance uh, through here in this bottom tunnel to push up to the back of Lay Sushi. And they really need Robbie to be all the way up this tunnel and attacking if they're going to be pushing down those stairs. Here's a couple fail utility throws by Big Mac here. Big Mac trying to signal to Moki here. Possible pushing. Ah, very interesting. Big Mac using hand signals here, trying to signal out to Moki what to do here. Appears he's wanting Moki's smoke here. Big Mac rotating back all the way around to the southern platform here. He's starting to push down here. Lace Lushi is starting to look right at him. He's going to get picked off by Lace Lushi here. Moki trying to still sneakily make his way onto the objective here. Another smoke's going to come out here. That's going to smoke off Select by here. However, he's not going to push through that. He's going to back off of that. Opting not to go through here. Again, the timing just not quite lined up as Misfits... Yeah, there comes Robbie. It's a little too late, though. Laced pops out, finds the kill. Moki now with no utility is going to push out the door, out the, out the hallway, which is pretty much the last thing you would want to do. Just so like Pi can pop up and find the kill. Chronic, scooping up a defensive round and are on their way to taking the series. A 1-0 lead out the gate. Definitely solid, but you know. Not perfect, I suppose. They still have uh, a ways to go. And like we've said, Misfits did put up a decent fight last last map, even though they did lose 4-1. So <laughs> I'm not counting them out just yet, but it is a 5-1 total scoreline for Chronic, and they're looking good. Now, like we said, uh, that objective here is an easily defendable objective here. So maybe it was just, you know, simply a fluke. You know, it's just the objective. Misfits could rally back here, and they could defend this objective, making the scores, and even 1-1 one, one back up with Chronic here. And we could see something like we saw back on Shipyard here, where each team was going neck and neck almost. Yeah, it's... That's what I would like to see. <laughs> that's what that's what we're always hoping for uh, in uh, BRML series like this. But 
Yeah, and it's also sort of our dive into new and upcoming teams, you know, to see what teams are maybe going to stand out, what teams are going to get into that gold gold division and get up into that higher tier. And for Chronic, I'm definitely seeing signs at least. You know, their defensive setups seem to be pretty decent. That that defensive setup they had nicely covered. Their basement entry, the two the two stairwells, uh, they were able to fend off from the smoke push. You know, pretty standard defensive spread. They didn't get over aggressive or you know invest four into the upper floor and try and you know uh, get any picks or anything like that. And so it it. Uh, they're, they're showing signs, in my opinion, of, of being a team that could push up into the gold. But we'll have to see as they go on the defense. Uh, excuse me, on the offense now. And Misfits get a chance to defend. Looks like a bit of a different approach as we see three going down into the basement. No Dog and Bob making their way down the plus side. This is absolutely interesting. Son of Chad has brought back out the SV98 here. Bolt here with the... Oh uh, with the iron sights back onto it. And it looks like for Misfits here, they're wanting to play a strong defense back on the OBJ here, not opting to push anybody up. Lace, though, running around in the maintenance here. Son of Chad could possibly have heard him. Could maybe give a call out, signaling to Robbie that there's somebody in there. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get that off there. At the end of the day, play the lead to have fun. <laughs> And if Son of Chad wants to have fun with the sniper, then then by all means they can have it. And so uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I I would love to see if they can find some kills <laughs> with it here, especially in Subway. It would be a crazy pick. Uh, I've seen shotguns come into effect on Subway, but even those don't get picked uh, very often at the higher tier. Everyone's pretty, I guess, dead set on their rifle. It'll change with you know some new additions, you know, new maps coming into the pool. Maybe some new guns coming in down the line. You know what I mean? We could see some variety, which is what I think maybe uh, Son of Chad is predicting here for us uh, this season. But either way, a interesting choice. And see if it's the choice that gets them a win. Robbie's still holding the basement entry. This is going to be a key hold here because Mr. Five, Lay Sushi, both making their way through the basement. They have Slight Pie, O-Dog, and Bob on the roof, but everyone from Misfits is holding this bottom floor. Mr. Five about to swing the corner here. Ooh, and a dirty mm -hmm. trade between Mr. Five and Robbie. That's going to leave maintenance wide open there for Lace to now push through. Son of Chad rotating to cover that same objective Robbie was just holding now. Making a f even 4-4 four -four split between each side. Both headshots, so no res opportunity for either side. And we may have another... Mim uh, you know, the exact same exchange as Lace Sushi is on the corner. Son of Chad is checking. Lace botches the flash, flashes themselves. And Son of Chad for now holding this angle off of the stairs. Lace is tucked in. I have to see if Lace is going to decide to pop up and challenge Son of Chad. It's that SV98 challenge. <laughs> that's, that's really what's going to come in. And there it is. The connection on the way. Son of Chad finds a kill and holds the basement. I think we're going to draw our attention now to this upper floor because that's where the rest of Chronic are. Select by O-Dog and Bob the Gamer going to make their way down the stairs to try and attack its objectives. Bob trying to get a little bit of pre-fire out there, trying to see if he can spray off a little bit of the railways here. He wasn't able to pick anything up, however. Big Mac and Love Digital are gaining all the information here that they at least have two people right outside of their stairwell here. Possible C4 play could come in here. What utility they have. Ooh, a big kill for select buy. They catch the ankle of most. Son of Chad's still in that tight corner, though, and so Misfits, only three. They still have three. They're holding their stairwells. They've got two on the appropriate entry point, covering O-Dog and Bob and Select Pie being covered by Son of Chad. So it's all a matter of who's going to win these entries, who's going to win these exits. The nade comes in, doesn't go far enough. Love Digital still alive. As O-Dog suppresses, they swing the corner. Mig Mac finds two and shuts down the cap attempt. Select Pie wins the got fight. Him, against Son of Chad and Chronic just
barely squeak away with that one. More of what we would ex I mean, I, again, you know, Chronic gets the win, but look at how close that, that, that round turned out to be. Absolutely. I mean, it came down to the last person this time around and a very, very, very tight angle here. A double trade ended up happening there between Big Mac and I believe that was... Uh, I believe that was O-Dog there on double trade. That was something you haven't seen very often, but when it happens, it's a beauty of a thing to happen. A uh, change in objective might be what Misfits need as we head up to the market on the top floor. A very different style of objective in that don't have... I mean, I guess... How different is it? You know, three entry points. <laughs> You're covering three entry points, just like you were at the end of the day. If you really boil it down, uh, you know, it's it's a matter of denying these three entry points into the objective courtyard, into the objective market. That's all you need to do on defense. And I say all you need to do, but you know, in reality, uh, if you don't extend yourself out and defend lanes a little bit more aggressively, those being taken can end up in cats coming through and all kinds of things spiraling out of control on this objective. So it isn't necessarily as easy as I make it out to be, but if you do just kind of uh, iron it down to it, those are the facts. You're covering three entry points. We'll see if Chronic can do that on defense or if Misfits will finally break through on the attack as we go into round three. <laughs> I'm seeing some uh, compliments in chat attendees. They're enjoying a formal wear. I got suits all lined up for cast here. <laughs> different suit for a different cast. You got Big Mac Robbie and Love Digital pushing up through the south uh, main here. Or through the south stairs here. O-Dog opting to take partial cover behind the trash can here. Listening out. See if maybe they can hear... One of them coming through. Big Mac Robbie is slowly holding their angles and moving up through it. And this is a bit more of an interesting defense from Chronic here. They're a little bit more stretched out, but they're playing relatively no spots. Oh, dog is going to pick off Love Digital there. That's going to drop it down to a 4v5 here. Yeah, and it's just interesting to know, you know, at a high level how these, how these teams differ. Again, this is silver versus gold strategy. The play would have been to quickly whip a nade around the corner. You know, a, a nade into this back end shuts down O Dog. O Dog, typically, you'd have a C4 tossed out a little bit farther uh, in front here, and there is no C4 being used. So both teams not quite playing into that high tier meta. Uh, and it's just these kind of things that separate teams apart from silver to gold. You know, it, it's the more advanced strategies that you only really understand after playing the game for sometimes multiple seasons. I mean, some teams grasp it right away, but it does take, in my opinion, a couple of seasons to really get an understanding. Select by C4s and kills, two down, and there's a nice indicator of a different, uh, of a solid way to defend as O-Dog pops out and is smoked. They finally go down, but it's not before Big Mac is left alone in a 1v4. Please tried to swing that corner as he could pick <laughs> off Big Mac. Almost had it, but Big Mac just barely squeaked away. Uh, release just still holding it. He's going to swing that. He's going to get the information. Oh, but Big Mac didn't get his gun up in time, and Lace is going to be able to pick him off. Making the scores now 3 and Nilch for Chronic. Yeah, looking good. You know, one thing I was thinking in the back of my mind is what separates a silver from a gold team is use of C4. You know, that, that's that's one thing you don't see used in newer teams. They just don't. They're still trying to figure out how to shoot and, and move effectively around the map, you know? Uh, it's not until you really get comfortable with the game that you start to really dive into utility and use everything that you can uh, in that utility belt. And C4 is a main tool on Subway for any defense. Uh, you know, Misfits haven't used it yet. But we did see it deployed there for Chronic to successfully hold down uh, that that's, that uh, north stairs. 
hashing out two and then confirming them both. But um, yeah, it can also be used, like uh, like I said, in the uh, defense of the uh, south stairs as well. But ultimately, what do I know? At the end of the day, Chronic hold things down nicely. O Dog does well in that back corner, gets a couple of kills and holds down that push pretty nice. I mean, does their job perfectly. So, uh, you know, it worked very well for them. The nade didn't come, and so if that nade doesn't come, then yeah, that spot's great. Very nicely done. We'll see how Chronic approaches things on the attack and how Misfits want to try and hold on for their life. They lose this round, it's series done. And so we'll see what they can do on defense. Why are you broke? Absolutely. Each side here, or Misfits here, talking about trying different strategies here. Round underway here, running out to their spots here. It looks like you have two, or it looks like you got two people trying to push through maintenance. At least an O Dog trying to push through maintenance are going to come up the stairs. Flash, or Frag comes out from Select Pie there into main. Trying to play this slightly more aggressive than they did before here. Loki and Mr. Five here first in the north. They're going to be the first to engage in the fight. Then the rest of the push is going to come in heavily from the south. It's going to be a, a combo of hitting both of those south entry points. And it's going to be all about basically winning the fight and leaving Moki stranded here in the north for them to either get a cap or uh, ultimately surround onto Moki. There's a C4 used by Big Mac. Catches out too. Nice to see Misfits deploying utility there. Uh, also using, I think that's the new gun uh, on display there by Big Mac Tree Man. So picking up a nice double with the new piece of utility. Absolutely. You got Util coming out here from Chronic. You got a smoke off into the corner here. Trying to play instead of Chad, try to flash around the corner. Moki's going to actually finish off Mr. Five finally, leaving this now into a 2v5 situation here for Miss or for Chronic here. He's is, uh... Big Mac coming on a flank. Big Mac's going to pick off Select by leave that down to a 1v5 situation for the Bob the Gamer. Bob still inside overpass. Big Mac running through here. Oh. Bob's going to get that pick off. Swings on the Moki, can't win that trade. Misfits finally connect their kills and win around. They win the trades. You look at the KDs now. I mean, Big Mac's seven and four. You know, two and three Moki. They're not, they're in the fights. It's just a matter of winning those trades. And that's, uh, well, there it is. A round in the pocket for Misfits. They're not letting this one go just yet it's still a uh, bit of a comeback train to get going right now but regardless they are on their way with a round in the books we go to our next objective which is dead center in the middle of the map and if you really want to talk about a capital objective i think this is maybe number two on the, on, on my list of objectives in subway that are easy to cap on Absolutely. You just get a few smokes off of the objective. That's going to send the Volk into a panic there. If they already if they already aren't on the objective, if they're not paying attention, just a few clicks of a button away, and that's going to give your side the two points you need to rally back here. Misfits here could possibly talk about a comeback here. I, th I think it's very probable they're talking about trying to go for the cap here. You can push through maintenance, uh, through the maintenance stairs come up into the tunnel, toss a few smokes, and possibly get that cap going, get the balls starting to roll for them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that round was good. That was nice. Solid defensive holding. I mean, they find their early picks. There's an opportunity, like you said, for them here going into this next round. And to see what they want to do on the attack. Round five of map two kicking off. Dive back into the action. We'll drop into the Misfits to see how they're feeling in their huddle before they jump out into round one. It's like possible push into maintenance series here. Lace going down into the maintenance tunnel here. It's like 
both sides are opting not to send anybody into the maintenance tunnels here. Instead, they're trying to focus their attack onto the stairs. Big Mug next. Digital off on their own to push the main catwalk space. This is largely undefended, so it's actually a pretty solid maneuver to push out here. And uh, oftentimes, you want to prioritize defending these because if Love Digital can fire down onto this objective from the stairs, it's going to be a very powerful position. It's going to be able to shut down Select Pi tucked in and very visible to these stairs. Also, it's a matter of Love Digital seeing that, but still, this is going to be taken by Love as Big Mac tries to jump past Mr. Five, five, and Mr. Five finds the first kill on the Misfits. Chronic trying to lock in the series here on this defensive round. So it appears more or less Select Pie is just prone in that specific under the ramp there, trying to look up into Horseshoe. He's not going to be able to see it. Love Digital's trying to run around to the other side here. Bob possibly given the call out that he's got somebody over on him. Slowly pushing through. Love Digital coming down the steps now. Bob made his noise. That's going to signal to Love Digital that he's there. Love is going to pack off of that. <laughs> opting, not wanting to peek that after hearing the footstep there. Probably a wise choice. Is going to run right into the angle of Select Pi, though, who has a line. Oh, Love is getting vision denied from that uh, that pylon. Finally spots Select in the dark and finds their first kill for Misfits. Chronic down to four. Make nice it one. three as Moki finds a kill. Son of Chad getting set up for the push. And Misfits looking That's kind so of nice here on their attack. They can coordinate this effort and get synced up with love on the stairs, they could find themselves a cap opportunity. Absolutely. Lace sitting back in the maintenance tunnel. He's taking some shots over at Robbie there uh, in the t inside of the tunnel here. Moki and Chad just slowly inching their way more or less towards the objective here. If they get right past Bob, they have a wide opportunity here to go for a cap here. Is... Really up to lay sushi to hold this thing down on, in a lot of ways in terms of where they're defending is Bob pops out to catch one kill. Are they gonna expect another? No, they didn't. And the shots nearly missed, but Love does find Bob overextending. Lay sushi now looking for a refrag. They're the only one left alive on Chronic as we also uh, had a disconnect come through. So laced in a 1v3. Misfits could be starting something here. So the son of Chad going through the basement here, probably or possibly trying to get an angle here on Lace. But they got Love Digital around on the other end here. If he peeks around, oh, but Moki's going to get a nasty headshot right on Lace Ushi, giving Misfits the round there, making this a score now two to three. Chronic letting this one slip through their fingers as Misfits are starting to get warmed up coordinated and have their second point on the board for map number two was well, it is a long road but it maybe is starting now uh, as that compact train starts to get a little more coal and engine Looking at the kds again a few more coming through as love finds two through that horseshoe you know the importance of effectively defending uh, that entry into that horseshoe is uh, you know, I think it's one of the must-have positions to defend. Almost, you gotta invest something, whether it's a you know a C4 that you're gonna try and detonate late, or a player that's gonna extend up into that hallway, or uh, I guess to do that you're also risking cap potential of coming through. If you're, you know, but it's all a matter of I guess calculating your timing and how far you want to extend on defense. But either way, love and. The rest of the team on this fits definitely coming together to get themselves a solid round win and like i said it could be this the, the well you've already said it but, but it's the the start of their comeback at the very least and now is the real challenge they go on the they go on the defense chronic i guess not really that was the real challenge now they go now that will the easy part they just have to defend they just got to tuck in this could be 3-3 before we know it we'll have to see how chronic attack 
Absolutely here. Chronic could possibly be looking to go out for a cap here. Yeah, I think they are going to call for a cap here. Slick by is saying to get a cause of distraction for Bob to go in and cap. I think they're looking to end the series out here, making this a 5-2 victory for Chronic. I think if they start pushing through those maintenance tunnels, I think those smokes, like I said earlier, get a few smokes on there. That's going to be the downfall here for Misfits. Looks like they're opting to push through the tunnels here, which is going to tell Moki that he's got some people underground. He's giving that call out here. Slick Pie still slowly trying to make his way down the south of or the south stairs. Sorry. They're giving these call outs here. At least throwing caution to the wind here. Running all the way through uh, basement there, sorry. Shots come out from Bob. Bob's good. Look at that long range pick off Shots there from the Bob there. Stairs. That's going to pick off Moki here. That's going to allow Select Pie and Mr. Five to just push through the south stairs here. That makes it a wide open angle here for them. They're in a better shape to get a cap opportunity out here. Needed for a while. Okay. Laced. <laughs> slowly moving up to the objective. He's possibly looking for that cap opportunity here. Oh, Tab yeah. out. He's going for it. Yep. He's typing in the code. No oh, one's got this. eyes on. They have all the time in the world to punch this in. Four left alive for Misfits and Chronic. Take it five to two. And it's well. You learn from your losses, and I think Chronic are going to learn that that defensive setup, you really, you really need to have someone on the objective side of that space. You know, you need someone at the very least close enough to prevent what we just saw right there. And, well, that is the series locked in for Chronic as they take a cap and a 5-2 victory on Subway. We now go to Chronic's map pick. For map number three, where do we suspect we're headed here? I think after I think after that little short range win, I think I might try to opt in for a quick cargo. Mm. Take it in, take it all in, make it a 3-0 map victory win for themselves. Yeah, definitely could be a solid space to go. Cargo is also a little bit volatile, and so you're really thinking about how you performed on the range. I almost was suspecting we could be headed to some place like Downfall for map number three here, where they'd really just try and extend it and pick off misfits every round. You know, that could be uh, Chronic's plan because if anything, this was the closest misfits got to getting back into this uh, was when they got into these close quarters scenarios. So we'll have to see. Do bear with us as we uh, reset lobbies and jump back into it. We also have the new map. <laughs> you know, Egress is in the rotation. Maybe we'll see them jump into that. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Looks like we're headed to the downfall to wrap up the series. Uh, again, why not get into the more range space? There's not, I guess maybe quarantine would have been in the other option there. Um, but yeah, range seems to be what is on the menu for map number three coming in from Chronic. You know, it's an interesting choice. It doesn't necessarily mean 
we're going to be seeing uh, slow gameplay per se, but if anything, Chronic have really shown us a very fast pace that they've set. They've been playing very quick rounds when they've pushed in on these objectives. Absolutely, and that's providing them, even with just those quick few rounds there, it's a pushing them through, getting them closer and closer towards their goals. And for Chronic here, that, that pushed them over their limit. They got to where they needed to go with it. And then giving them the 2-0 map victory here. Uh, I think, I think honestly, the most interesting map here so far has been Shipyard. Yeah. It's a, still that mixture of both close range and long range, but you mainly saw the long range on the aspects for that. Yeah. Yeah, and it went the way of Chronic in most cases, and so maybe that will be easier on downfall. We'll have to see as Misfits definitely find themselves in a less than ideal situation. You always play the third map out, but at the end of the day, rounds win. Uh, excuse me, maps one is what determines who goes up or down in rank. Round wins just determine how much you go up or down in rank. And I say just, uh, but it is actually pretty important that a team like Chronic does get a solid win here because it will boost them up more. And that puts them closer in range of gold teams, closer in range of that next division. And... That's really what you're after when you're a team competing in the middle of the ladder in week 10. Absolutely. As we get closer towards the end of the season here, each placement is going to get more and more important because it's going to determine whether or not you're able to go through with a, with a possible Challenger Cup or a round robin, depending on what it is that it's decided to do. And each placement put you closer and closer towards not having to go through and qualify through a, another uh, through another challenge there, essentially. But Chronic maybe unaware that they had a disconnect. There was five in lobby, but once they loaded in, they didn't have all Minus five. Doesn't matter much as Mr. Five cuts things down to four for the Misfits and confirms that kill on to Robbie. Digital shuts down Le Sushi, trying to rotate around the ass side, and that makes it down to three for Chronic, just like that one kill puts them down to a half of their team size, and we'll have to see how that impacts their ultimate push as we got select up the middle. Where is final third? It looks like everyone's actually stacked over on the south side and uh, curious to see how they yeah they're just coming trying to figure out where these shots are coming from but a little bit before we see more action bob may be the next one up on the list here his love has still got a line down onto this tank Absolutely. With downfall here, you know, you run into very intricate angles. Some of them can pull off great spots, and others are going to pull off very short but very precise angles here. Minus one up red. Oh, Digital shutting down this team right now <laughs> from this hilltop position. May find another rotating at the truck. Doesn't. Pops up and catches Bob out in the open. And Chronic have only one left. Misfits looking good on their defensive round here. Those big pack line fires out towards Mr. Five. That's not going to do a whole lot of good, but interesting to see nonetheless. Coming in, Misfits back to four. Five alone in their efforts now. 3.20 left on the clock. Definitely a, a lot of time to work with, but this map is pretty big and they've got a long rotation ahead of them with lots of defenders left alive. Love Digital, I think, catches the ace. All four of Chronic down by Love Digital's hand and Misfits take the round 1-0 out the gate. 
Absolutely, and that was that ace or that technical ace there for Love Digital. You know, you gotta wonder how much of that is gonna boost the morale there for Misfits having an ace right off the bat, and on top of that, taking the round point. You could see a potential rally back here now. Unfortunately, they won't win the series, however, due to the MMR rankings. The, each point that they can get places them at least better and better uh, and softens that sort of uh, MMR blow, blow there. Yeah. 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 So a good start for them. I'll go on the attack next round and hopefully Chronic can get their fifth. I mean, honestly, if we're just going to be playing out a 4v5 <laughs> on this final, I mean, we may just wrap the stream up here at this point. You know what I mean? What's the point of watching our, our third map that's played half-heartedly, especially when we know the series outcome already? But we'll wait and see. Maybe it is just a technical issue, and Chronic will get that fifth in. But, I mean, that's kind of the differentiator between the Misfits winning that first round of Ship Card and, you know, finding nothing was that Chronic did only have four. It looks like Chronic are just going to keep playing out. Possibly 4v5. just saying, possibly just saying, yeah, we've already won this, so they don't, don't entirely need to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, that is what it looks like. They don't necessarily care too much about this final round, and maybe they're confident enough after winning those two maps that they can just take it 4-5. Uh, we will have to see how Misfits battle this back because, again, a 4-5 advantage is pretty nice. On a map like Downfall where you really want to have that full coverage, and when you lose one, you'll lose oh, well, quite a lot because now they're down to 5-3 with Misfits in a position to push up onto this objective. It's like by getting those call outs there, but Lace Lush, uh, Sushi still actually revivable, so it could potentially even the odds here. It's like by looking to go for the res here. If they're not, if he's not careful enough, he's going to get picked off while trying to get him Big Mac right on that corner here. It's like by crouching down and going for it. He's going to get oh, the revive oh, there. Lace giving the call outs there. Oh, and a dirty shot from Mr. Five all the way from Twins. He's going to down uh, Big Mac Ross. there. He's cut this down. down to a 4v4 situation here for the Chronic. Very Smoke nice still. long range shot there connecting with that snipe. But yeah, like you said, Smoke's coming out and Love Digital does get the res. So Misfits still up with five Chronic. Still up with four, and Love Digital and Big Mac in a kind of dangerous spot. This is pretty tough to push in from, but they are kind of nicely set up on the back of Chronic. That should be minus one. Of they, they know that they have somebody inside of uh, inside of Twins. They just don't know where. Looks like a possible TK coming in over here. <laughs> Yeah, Big Mac firing up at their friend right there at the at the window. Moki does catch another kill. Chronic are down to just two. Select is dead, and Moki's tablet out. Misfits punching in the code. They're looking to take this map three to one. And maybe we do just have to stick around for one more round, and we'll be done with this map. As Misfits are definitely looking. I, it, Where's the confidence, you know, in the earlier maps? Uh, you know, why, where were the, why aren't they playing like this on Subway and Shipyard? Obviously, they didn't have a 4-5 advantage, but still, it's uh, very different teams playing here in this final map. I think here with the uh, with the drop with both the droppage of Chronic's fifth member on top of them being able to take that first round, I think they've sort of woken themselves up and they've gotten that confidence back, like you were saying. Now that they're about to take this map of 4-0 here, that's gonna put a nice little cushion there on that MMR blow that they're gonna come through, and, and you know, it could be the difference, you know, between 10 points or five points being taken away from them. You know, you just you just never know. Yeah, you never know, and Chronic, yeah, you never know. <laughs> Either way, uh, 
pretty good for Misfits. 3-0 out the gate here on this map. If they can take it 4-0, that will be a total scoreline of 7-9, which is pretty good. You know, that's not as big of a loss as what could have been, you know, 12-3. You know, if Chronic could come in here with five and really tried to shut them out, uh, you're looking at a very different scoreline overall, but Misfits are just a round away. We're taking downfall here. We'll see if they can do it as we go in to round number three. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling. Right, any sort of comms coming over from Misfits here. I think they're trying to really focus up here on that last that round. Taking this four, taking either of these four kills or playing this timeout, that's going to give them a 4 0 victory here on against Chronic here for map three. And I love Digital trying to push all the way up towards Center Hotel. He's managed to get inside. Nobody's detected him. Although Lace, he's going to spawn, or he's not going to spawn anybody. He's going to pre fire West Brothel, but he's going to get picked off by Robbie here as he was trying to cross over. And this already drops it down to a 5v3 situation here for Chronic, or for Misfits, sorry. I think you're tripping. Very solid start. And Misfits again looking to lock in this final round. We'll have to see if Love catches anyone Nine. down in the valley as Bob scoops up Big Mac. Love has an angle. They could have seen select pie, but Philly watching that angle. Mr. Five trying to snipe from that tower top, and Laced is still resible. Mr. Five could go down the tower, rotate over to Laced, and get that res. <laughs> and it would be back into a 4v4 now. <laughs> That's love. Absolutely. Is he yelling to their team? Absolutely. I mean, it looks like Chronic here is just trying to push through, possibly trying to talk over, have a uh, have a nice little conversation with Chronic here before a 4-0 ensues. It's like Pi trying to look to see if he can spot whoever is in center. Here. He's not going to see anything though. Gives a call out that he doesn't see anything there. That could be a very, very deadly call out for them, considering that. Love is sitting inside of there. He could go right onto that rooftop and obliterate all of them. It's oh, like Robbie. Robbie gets absolutely picked off by Mr. Five, who's sitting inside of Marsock Tower here with the 12X on an M16. This drops it down to an even 3-3 three, three here. Flashbang comes out from Love here. That's not going to find anybody. Five is going to get a kill and the res on the laced. Chronic are going to be 4 3 here against Misfits. Definitely a good place to be in. As Mr. Five confirms the kill, Love Digital isn't going to see this res come through up the middle. It's like Love is tunnel visioned over against Select Pie here, but. Unfortunately, because of that, that's going to make this now a 4v3 here, possibly making the score now a 1-3 for Chronic. Loki still inside of a Heli HQ here. He's looking around. He hasn't been able to see anybody yet. Placed almost that's out of the open, uh, pushing out through the middle. Right down, like you said, past Blackhawk. Love just has to pop up and find this kill. Moki's looking for where these shots are coming from, and they're exposing themselves out. Upper red, upper nearly red. getting picked off by Select by Love finds Minus that one. kill onto Select on the second floor. They're gonna spot Mr. Five as well, and a nice one-two punch. One below, Cuts Chronic down to two. Laced has Tablet out, could be pushing up for a cap. Chronic could be getting two points here if they're not careful. It looks like Son of Chad spotted that, but missed with the sniper and it's misfits will lock in the final round making it 4-0 on map three a uh, odd way to finish the series i would say attendees but that's yeah. what you get out of the silver too that's what you get when you're in the <laughs> middle of the when you're in the heart of the ladder sometimes you get a little bit of oddness here and there but uh, either way solid whole uh, performance for misfits on that final map and 
ultimately chronic are our victors the final score line is nine to seven final thoughts tendies before we sign off i think this was uh, for what it's worth i think this was still a well-fought matchup from oh, yeah. both sides here you know misfits you know still dropping it down to very very few numbers each time they were playing on the uh, or each time they were playing into their rounds here now another very interesting thing that happened through there was to top that off when they started building up their momentum you know chronic how was trying to motivate themselves they were trying to find some sort of way of digging deep into their fibers and their well-being <laughs> to try and grab some sort of hope some sort of momentum back into their favor yeah yeah i see uh indy and chat a little disappointed in there <laughs> downfall performance but it's okay they still do get the map win it will come out on top and ultimately uh, like you said a good series to tune into here this afternoon shout out to both teams thank you for playing we appreciate you shout out to everyone tuning in appreciate you all stopping by hit that follow button if you haven't and uh we want to see you around for more games we'll be getting some high tier action later this week we'll also be seeing a bunch of new casters jumping into vrml3 tendies will be one of those so do go give them some love as they uh, get used to the whole system. But uh, outside of that, we appreciate you all stopping by. My name has been Nightfire with two E's, my co-caster, Tendies. We'll see you all later this week for more Onward VRML.